Well, the best word to describe him is legend. Wrestler and Western New Yorker Dick the Destroyer Buyer died today at the age of 88. His legacy will carry on forever, both in and out of the ring. Here's two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik. Western New York's own Dick Byer, known in the pro wrestling world as the Destroyer, graduated from Syracuse, where he played football and eventually took on the persona of the Masked Destroyer, wrestling around the world and becoming very popular in Japan. In announcing the Destroyer's death, the WWE called him a masked wrestling pioneer. Two on your side had the rare opportunity to interview Byer without the mask as we said goodbye to the odd in 2008. The Destroyer never had an opportunity to wrestle here because in 59, 60, 61, they didn't let a masked man wrestle in New York State. He's also being remembered as a pioneer by fellow wrestling legend Elio DiPaolo's son, Dennis. He was a very caring person, loving person, and always willing to share with others and do that type of stuff. But he was dedicated to his, his sport, he was dedicated to his community, and he had a way about just, you know, making everything like exciting, make it like, let's do it. Fire has inspired generations of wrestlers, including these guys, the wrestlers who train at Grapplers Anonymous in Lackawanna. Everybody in Buffalo Wrestling incorporates some part of the, the Destroyer um, into our being, our spirit of, of pro wrestling. They even showed us one of the Destroyer's signature moves. And a permanent reminder of how he will never be forgotten in the pro wrestling world. The Destroyer actually opened up a whole nother world to me, to the world of professional wrestling. I would have loved to pack this building as the Destroyer. I'd just go in there and yell, I say, the intelligent, sensational Destroyer is here, and who out there wants to beat me? <laughs> Dick Byer was 88 years old. In Lackawanna, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.